Hi guys, hello and welcome to another Java programming tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can grab data from the database and bring it into the Java FX application and generate this graph. Once you learn the technique, you can learn any of the many graphs that are available to you in Java. For this, I used a Microsoft Access database that I brought in as a file in Eclipse, but you can connect to any database. For the ease, I used Microsoft Access. You could use SQLite or you could use DB2, SQL Server, Oracle, however. So this is a very simple, small data set. I have a bunch of employees with their salaries. So I'm going to bring in the employee names and salaries from the database table called employees. And I will uh, draw or plot the chart that I just showed you. So what I did in this example, I have my entire environment set up for my drivers and everything. For that, you can refer to my uh, JDBC tutorial, how you go about doing it, what jar files to use, how to set up for the drivers and everything. So you can go over those tutorials for that. So here I set up my URL inside my start method of the JavaFX application. I'm calling the application from the main method launch. And then inside the start method, I'm loading my driver and I'm setting up my SQL statement in which I'm grabbing the employee name and the salary from the employees table. And then I'm running my SQL statement and putting the result in the result set. Then I created a couple of array lists, one of type string and the other of type double. The string array list I will use for generating my X axis, which is the names of the people, and the Y axis is the salaries, which is a number. So I used a type double array list. Anyway, I declared these two and then I ran my result set object in a loop. As long as there is data to process, the result set will keep looping. Every time it loops, I add one value from the first column into names array list and the second column uh, it's a double value i grab it into, and put it in the salaries array list at the end of the loop i close my result set now starts my charting process so i create my x axis i name i set the label names then i created my y axis and i set the label salary so let me run it again to show you where this is set up so salaries across the y axis and names across the x axis then i created my bar chart and i put my x axis and y axis as the two parameters and then i created my series call it data series one in the data series one as you can see i set the the name of the series as employee stable which shows right at the bottom over here then I ran a loop in this loop I need to grab the values from the two array lists and put them inside this data series one so I said data series one dot get data dot add and then I'm generating an instance of XY chart dot data where I'm populating the X axis with one value from the names array list and one value from the salaries array list at the end of the loop, I will have the entire data set generated, uh, and which I will add to the bar chart, which I created on line 59. So I first generate the data series, and then I add the data series to the bar chart. Then I add the bar chart to my VBox, and then the rest of the stuff is exactly the same that you would do in JavaFX. If you're new to JavaFX and you don't know any of this, then visit my Java tutorials to learn about setting up the JavaFX environment in the whole nine yards. And then I ran my application and it works fine. For those of you who are struggling with setting up JavaFX on Eclipse, there is a tutorial out there, very successful tutorials. Thousands of people have benefited from it. It is something that works if you are really struggling setting up your Eclipse environment to run JavaFX. And then you can use some CSS to change the coloring properties and everything else on it. You can use different kinds of uh, uh, charts here. You could use, um, for example, scatter chart, stacked bar chart, line chart, area chart, stacked area chart, pie chart. You know, I mean, you just change the basic logic around based on the charting algorithm that you're using, but rest of the logic stays exactly the same. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial and have helped you solve the problem of how to bring data from the database, put into the chart and display it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Till the next video, guys, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.